Hey guys, welcome back to Cinematic Topical. Nate here today with my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2023. Alright, coming in at number 10, uh, just a preface, number 10 and number 9, they're, they're more out of curiosity than like sheer anticipation uh, because the idea of them is just so strange that like, I just got to see how this turns out. I don't even know that I want to see trailers for these. I just want to go see them. So, number 10, uh, I have Wonka. This, like, weird Willy Wonka prequel story that we're telling with Timothy Chalamet. Nobody asked for that. We didn't need it. But it sounds really weird. And I can get down with that. So, I'm going to check that out. Uh, number 9 for me, again, I have no clue what direction they're going to take this. Because the people involved, I know what kind of stuff they make, but I don't know how they're going to take this. Number nine for me is Barbie. Uh, I'm absolutely going to see this movie. It could be a complete train wreck. It could be incredible. I guess, I mean, it could, it could be mediocre, but I feel like it's going to be one or the other. But I just have no idea where Greta Gerwig is going to take that. So I made it my number nine. Uh, number eight for me. Got the new Indiana Jones. It would be higher. I love Indiana Jones easily. Like, uh, like Last Crusade, absolutely like top 10 favorite movies of all time for me. Uh, love that character. I love Harrison Ford. Don't love what they did with the last movie, but the trailer for this one looked really good. So the reason it's only at number eight is just because I'm skeptical about it, but it the trailer looked really good. Honestly, if it wasn't for the trailer looking so good, it probably wouldn't have been on my list at all. Seven, we got Oppenheimer. I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm trying to not know a whole lot about it, but it's Christopher Nolan. And while I do think that some of his movies get a little overhyped, he still makes really good movies. I mean, I don't... I don't know that I think Christopher Nolan has made a movie that I think is flat out bad necessarily. So, I'm good with it. Uh, number six. Now we're getting into stuff that I'm like genuinely really excited about. Uh, Dune Part 2. I love the first one. I loved it when I went to see the first one. I had no idea that Part 1 was going to pop onto the screen. Much like pretty much everybody who went to see the movie did not know that was going to be a thing unless you saw it after the week it came out and you heard about it. Um, but I love science fiction and I love when you mix like really deep, honestly kind of hard to understand lore into science fiction. So Dune is just like right up my alley. Next up we got Killers of the Flower Moon. It was supposed to be a 2022 movie, but now it's a 2023 movie. Hopefully we finally get it this year. But listen, if Martin Scorsese directs a movie i'm gonna go see that movie it does not matter i'm gonna go see it and it's got de niro in it and it's got leo in it and it's got a shit ton of other famous people in it so i i don't like how could i not anticipate that movie here at cinematopical we're unfortunately poor and this money you see on screen that's cgi that's not real money because again we're poor so if you want to click in the add eye in the corner that video is monetized and we can make money off it so please go watch it and if you click an ad we make more money and if you really want to help there's the thanks button right there below this video uh, number four we got creed three uh first creed knocked my socks off did not expect to be as emotionally moved and invested and interested in that movie as i was but i was and the second one I don't think it was as good as the first one, but it was still really good. And I really like where they're going with, like, Creed as a character. So, I'm all about it. I'm really interested to see how that movie's going to be. Uh, number three is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Man, if you told me that an animated Spider-Man movie was going to come out, and when I saw it, it was going to end up being what I think might be... One of the like top five greatest animated movies of all time, if not the best animated movie of all time, 
I would be like, you're absolutely insane. There's no way. It's tied to a superhero. Like, animation these days is pretty much, like, you know, outside of some of the stuff Pixar makes. Really just, like, childish garbage. This movie came out. It blew me away. Could not believe how much I loved it. All the themes, the action, everything about it was perfect. And now we get a sequel to it where they're just going to expound on this multiverse stuff. And we get more weird Spider-Man men, Spider-Men, and women coming in. I'm just, I'm really stoked for this. I, uh, I can't, I, like, I was so surprised at how much I loved the first one. I am nervous about sequels after I find something I love so much. I don't want them to screw it up like Indiana Jones, but I think it's going to be pretty good. Number two for me, John Wick, chapter four. These movies don't miss at all. There is literally no doubt in my mind that I'm going to love this. Like, one, two, three, all excellent movies. If this one is also excellent, I think Strange Wing said this in a video a couple weeks ago. Like, if four hits, which I really, truly, like, almost have very little concern that it will. If four hits, John Wick is the greatest action franchise of all time. Like, it, like, this character is so good. I love that they do the thing where, like, each movie literally just picks up right where the last one ended. This is just like one big, long, continuous movie. But it just keeps the plot moving forward and keeps the character moving forward while still introducing new stuff. We get a little, little more insight into like this world that he lives in through each movie. Some focus on it more than others. But one was like, here's some really cool action. Two, here's the world you're in. Three was a good blend of both. So I four will probably also be a really good blend of both. I'm stoked for this movie. I can't wait for it. But my number one most anticipated movie of the year, which I feel like this is a really ambitious decision because I know almost nothing about it, but it is from probably my favorite director of all time. Uh, and it is Asteroid City. It is 2023. We get a new non-short story, non-animated, regular, full-length Wes Anderson movie, and I'm stoked. Cannot wait for it. To me, like this guy's style, it just, per like I understand he's not for everybody, but for what I like, it, it fits my taste perfectly. The cast looks absolutely insane. I'm so excited for this movie, but... Let me know what your most anticipated movies of 2023 are down in the comment section below. And then like, comment, and subscribe. It's not a game, it's a real